establish that. To be tempted is not a sin. To act on the temptation, now you've created and you've carried out a sin. All of us are tempted, but all of us don't fall to it. But the Bible says God is faithful, that he will not put more on us than what we can bear. You see, God is all about taking off of us, taking the yokes off of us, opening doors for us. And we have to remember that. So many people with inaccuracy of not understanding God will say something like this, God put this sickness on me to humble me. That's a lie. God don't put nothing on us that comes from evil to make us act right. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? And if we're not careful of what we're saying, our phraseology, our sentence structures, we will show our ignorance to Satan, and Satan will capitalize on that ignorance, brothers and sisters. Amen. God don't tempt evil with evil. He don't do that. God is about bringing good from the evil and that temptation that's presented to us. I'm not going to right now, y'all. I'm saying right here today. I said it's a word, son. I don't want you to get caught in no emotion. I want you to hear this word today. He says here, above that, you are able, after the semi-colon, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. God is saying, regardless what comes your way, if you can hear my voice, I'm going to give direction. I'll tell you just what to do, how to do it, when to do it, what to say, and who to say it to. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I will provide all of that for you. I want to say this. Our faithful decisions invokes God's faithfulness. I'm going to say it again. Our faithful decisions invokes God's faithfulness. What we decide in a time of temptation, God 